Hi my friends, today we try to model this new sheet metal part which has some interesting features here and you will see that uh, there are some problems with this uh, model. The drawing made by me of course is this one and you see a red dimension yes what is this well if we have here 21.25 and uh, the circles are centered in the fillets the dimension is 9.25 if we go to the drawing, the original drawing, you see this, and you see 8.75, which is not okay. Yes, radius 6 from the center, and dimension is wrong. Another wrong dimension is this one. 27 from the end of the part and this point good but if you look careful you see that there is a radius 15 a fillet here and 12.5 the distance between these two this means that there is a gap here yes this dimension was set manually by the designer and was not generated automatically so in my opinion this is a fake okay we go back to our drawing and we respect this drawing 27 is from the end line to this point, not from this end to the point. Yes, this is why I made here a step section. Good. We start with the the sheet metal template and we create this contour this one the bottom of the part as it is uh, presented in this view we assume that these lines are collinear course let's draw this contour with its dimensions as they are part one start to the sketch and we draw lines here 27 you remember is the horizontal 27 then uh, there is a slope line another line back to the bottom line and here we make them collinear this one with this one they already are collinear okay the the angle of 140 you have to uh, concentrate on the angles at the beginning of a drawing 
here is the same angle so I can create this and select the other one or control Z I can make equal this line with this line the same result we have here four millimeters is the distance here and there are some other dimensions 83 is the total dimension and we have also 17.6 let's apply 17.6 and the total dimension of 83 from one end to another 83 good now we look to the fillets there is a fillet here of 8.5 and another one of seven here they are symmetrical so here is the same seven radius and 8.5 radius take a look of, at this small line which is all it remains from the line here good fillet 8.5 to be applied between these two and 7 to be applied in this position no 7 excuse me this is not 7 this is also 8.5 I take it from the left 7 is up so fillet 7 is already placed here and I select this 2 for 7 and this 2 for 7 you see this small lines remained are equal yes look here they are still equal this is why the view is changed when I place uh, the other dimensions. Okay. And which tool we apply to obtain uh, the first volume? We apply contour flange but what is the thickness if you take a look here the thickness is uh, 0.5 and the default inventor thickness for the sheet metal parts is 0 0.5 so this is why I don't care about uh, uh, anything which has uh, the thickness as uh, as a subject you see I select the thickness to be up not reverted down yes because this is the bottom contour of this construction so my uh, opinion is to place because the part is not symmetrical about this line and you see uh, the drawing is here yes and we have 
a dimension of 50 and this is 25 so I uh, go back to my new model and I apply 50 and that's all okay this is the first volume this is the starting of any modeling to create the first volume now I apply a material which is uh, again the stainless steel and I want to cut the part to make this cut yes this is placed at 50 minus 25 and the other one is 83 minus 21.25 good where to create this on this face not this but let me make this construction lines and I draw a rectangle from this corner this corner with uh, 83 minus 21.25 tab 50 minus 25 we use the dimensions in the original drawing finish sketch you see we have a closed contour to apply cut cut but not on the thickness but all the part it goes up because the inventor knows where is oriented the thickness or where the thickness is oriented in English okay I apply now fillets which in uh, the vocabulary of sheet metal is corner round let's see which are the dimensions six 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 and six seven point five and fifteen corner round six is by default so I select this I select this also this and the last apply then 7.5 here apply you see this is placed as a, a fillet also to this uh, continuation of the part apply yes it's very interesting and the last one is 15 15 on this small edge okay f6 and we have the first volume well defined we place the two holes here let's see the dimensions they are centered in the uh, fillets and we don't care about dimensions 6 and 9.25 the diameter is 5 we select this face 
and the lines are already placed here. Why? Why they are already placed? Because if you go to options, sketch, and this line or option is already checked. If you uncheck this, the uh, contour in yellow doesn't appear. I used to have this uh, option uh, checked, selected. More than this, I change the points by selecting center point and you will see why. Um, uh, remember, uh, there are two crosses instead of points here. Finish sketch. I use the uh, environment of uh, sheet metal because I have here the hole tool. As you can see, because of that cross marks, the uh, holes are already selected. This is not selected, but if you click here, you will select it. Uh, the dimension is, of course, five millimeters because I made this before and uh, uh, there are no any other holes here through okay now we go to the last feature this one which is uh, something uh, interesting as you can see the radius 3 of this uh, protrusion the center is on this face. This is why I consider here six millimeters, a channel of six millimeters to be cutted in the part. And then we'll see how to place the uh, protrusion on the part. Let's start with creating a slot to be cut it in the part. 10, 67, and 6 is the diameter, twice 3. Good. We select a face, the bottom face. To create a sketch, I make this construction. Don't show me again this. And constructive. Then I go back so and I select the slot center to center from somewhere here to here the length is uh, 83 not 83 67 minus 10 and the diameter is twice 3 twice 3 I don't invent dimensions, I use the dimensions in the drawing. The slot is at the bottom here. Finish sketch, cut. You see, this is selected, but only on the thickness. I don't like this. I select all because I want to cut all the part. Okay, you see, I have here a very interesting cut. 
how to create the protrusion. I make something. I create a plane here by using three points. One, two, and three. This plane will be used to create a profile sketch F7 something is wrong why I don't know but I see something wrong here yes you see this is not aligned finished sketch let's go to the cut and we see that the cut is not horizontal or vertical three dimensions needed my friends I forgot a lot a lot this is my fault if you place uh, the part so you have the real situation the real situation is with 10 millimeters here and 12.5 there dimension from this to the end of uh, 10 and the position is from here from the axis is an angle this is what I <laughs> saw before I have to make this uh, aligned with the X axis which means horizontal now is horizontal and I can place dimension of 12.5 finish sketch go back to the other sketch and we see now everything is okay if we take a look from here yes everything is aligned we have this plane to uh, as a base for a new sketch f7 to see at the level of that plane and i draw uh, an arc from this point but I have to project this line to have a point also the other one and then an arc like this and the center of, the, of this arc is oriented keep attention on this because I select vertical to place horizontally you see a horizontal line here yes this is horizontal vertical that's the main problem with the, the view no problem then I make an offset now I apply three is the radius in the drawing my friends three is the radius I apply offset with the distance of thickness we are in the sheet metal environment and the 
template is sheet metal so I know that thickness is a symbol I draw a line to end this tool yes and I continue with lines here I want to be well oriented to have no problems I draw a line from this point to this point vertical I restart to draw another line to here and another line to here I cut I trim this end three dimensions needed one of dimensions is the angle my friends the angle between these two and look here very careful now I apply a value of 89 degrees 59 minutes as a, the value of the angle which means uh, 8998 I align this with this yes how many dimensions are needed only one what is that dimension let's see apply and see the tangency now if I remove I will have also zero here because this is not a dimension but a constraint done now it's fully constrained finished sketch F6 and we have now a nice contour there I make this not visible to have the contour I don't like this uh, uh, normal lines so I change F5 to have the same view I change them the two as uh, constructive lines finish sketch well now in my mind in your mind this long contour is a good base for applying sweep sweep is not in the environment of uh, sheet metal so I go to 3d model now you know that inventor accepts this now the uh, part can be uh, admit flay uh, flat pattern this is the flat pattern from now on this will be not admitted I go to 3d model and I apply sweep of this tiny profile over this closed path yes around here okay we wait a little because the inventor is very busy and we see that a problem appears here I asked my friends from Autodesk to tell me what happens here yes you see we don't have an answer what is this 
why we don't have an answer. I can wait a lot and nothing will happen. Even if this is not 90 degrees, we still have a problem with generating uh, this uh, uh, protrusion. So I have no other solution but to close inventor 2022. If I select wait for the program to respond, the same infinite weight I have to uh, uh, receive. So I apply close the program, which I really do, and I will go back with uh, uh, another solution. Close the program. As I told you, I uh, reported this problem to Autodesk and I will wait for an answer. Now is the time of Christmas, New Year and uh, I suppose in January I will have an answer. What is to be created here? What solution? I have another solution. I create a plane the one you already know this point this point and another point and I use it to create a new sketch. The sketch F7 is uh, with a whole contour, not a quarter. I project lines here, project geometry, and this line, and this line, and also this line and this one. We have four points now. I draw an arc from this point to this point and I place this point on the same horizontal set is vertical vertical this point with this point. I am sure that this is radius 3 because this is 6. Let's see. Uh, dimension radius 3. Escape. Now this is fully constrained. Now I create an offset as before, thickness is the value for this offset and I draw lines from point to point, restart from point to this and and here I draw other line vertical or perpendicular restart and I go somewhere here with a horizontal not the horizontal, I want to be perpendicular, if I can, I can, and trim this end. We have a close contour, 
two dimensions needed. Let's see what are that dimensions. Apply. Two tangencies. Remove and I still have zero here. Done. Good. We have a profile. Yes. I don't have any normal line, only construction, only points. Finish sketch. Now I want to move this, to sweep this profile over this contour. To do this, I create a new plane between the mid plane between this one and this one. You know now that selecting two planes you find the mid plane of them. It is not necessary to select this mid plane between two planes. This is what I mean. In this plane I project F5 to go back with the view. I project my friends geometry. This line this arc this small segment don't forget that segment this arc this line this arc the small segment this arc and the last is this you see here a continuous contour not continuous because I made a mistake I have this active so I try again to create this this is not it was the button and I uh, intended to select the upper line we have a nice path. Finish sketch. Visibility. I want you to have all the image here. And also visibility of this. Now we have a close contour and a path. Let's apply from 3D model the sweep. Sweep this is already selected and the uh, path is also selected nothing seems to be wrong okay it is not wrong of course yes what about the ends will create that ends right now we select this face f5 to see from the same position and i make all these lines not all excuse me i make these two arcs as construction entities or constructive and also this two then I create uh, an arc starting from here to somewhere right in the center and another one from here to the center a line to close this and i suppose it is fully constant yes it is finish sketch revolve my friends revolve about this axis 
but not the <laughs> 360 but two to what to this face and now we have only half of this revolution okay now we create an identical profile here no problem sketch f5 to see from the same point of view and these are all construction line and I draw an arc from this point to the midpoint which can be selected over this the other one I can select in the midpoint I draw a line and I have a fully constrained sketch escape you see fully constrained good now I apply again from the 3d model the revolution of the selected profile about this axis again I use two to select the face for the end of this revolution yes okay F6 this is the part my friends let's see what about the volume I properties physical update we select this answer copy and I don't have here a volume why I place it now because you know that everything is okay volume is this oh <laughs> I didn't finish the part my friends there is a radius here of one and uh, one plus thickness and the other uh, uh, in the opposite position so I apply fillet for this contour with a value of one millimeter plus the other contour with one plus thickness okay the volume is different let's modify it what is the new volume is here not a big difference but there is a difference you have to respect it close home double click and you see the value not a great difference but is a difference this is the final thanks for watching bye bye